morning everybody we're here in london ontario been here for a couple days now well over yesterday and the day before and we gathered up a little bit of snow before we go on the road we got to clear that off and then we can go pick up our load that'll take us home of flatbedding. Wake up in the morning. All right, it's gonna be a good day. Let's get going. Walk outside. Oh, there's six inches of snow on my trailer. I can't go on the road like that. At least I shouldn't. A big thank you to the kind managers here at the Flying J in London who let me use their shovel to shovel off my deck. I know, I know, I should have my own shovel with me. Believe me, I have told myself that. Let's see, how many times did I shovel off a load of snow? Probably about a couple of hundred, so I told myself about a couple of hundred times. I should really have my own shovel on my truck. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yep. So thank goodness for, uh, Flying J manager, they're very kind to let me borrow their, their shovel and uh, trust me to bring it back. Obviously, I brought it back, but you know, some, of, some people out there they probably just take it and run, unfortunately. So, they were very kind to uh, trust me with that. I brought it back to them. The trailer's all cleared off, and uh, we're gonna head up the road. Our pickup got changed. We we're supposed to pick up in Thorndale, which is just around the corner here. It's the same load, I guess they just forgot where it was. I don't know why it got changed but uh now i'm picking it up in hannon ontario which is a little south like pretty much in hamilton ontario which is like an hour and a half back towards where we came from had i known that i would have stayed out there but uh you know it's trucking things change so i'm reset now uh just done my pre-trip after i shoved off the trailer truck is all good to go now we head up there i have an 11 a.m appointment it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get there. I have two hours to get there. Let's hope that's enough time with the traffic. And uh, we'll see what they got for me. Apparently it's like some part of a bridge or something. It's gonna be almost 12 feet wide, like 11 foot eight. So uh, let's go see what it is, let's go pick it up. This weekend, my phone charger went kaput for some reason. I started charging it and suddenly it started dinging saying, Hey, there's moisture in your port. Unplug immediately. And it refused to charge. And it said, wait 24 hours. Like I Googled it and I said, like, okay, wait 24 hours and let it dry out and see what happens. Well, it's been almost 48 hours now and it still won't let me charge through the port. So uh, again, thanks to Flying J here, I went inside and I got this wireless charger. This is actually a charger. It's pretty cool actually. You push a little button on the side here and it opens up. That's a fast charger. Right now I know it's designed to be like this, but when it's like that, watch this, it'll open up automatically when I put my phone near it, and it's a wireless charger. 
and it starts charging my phone. Fast wireless charger. But I don't like it that it you know stands straight up like that. It's out of my out of my view, and this is the only place I could mount it in this truck. Look at this place. Every part of the dashboard here is filled with some kind of gauge, lever, like switch, lever. And I couldn't mount it anywhere where it would stay. So this is the only place I could find. I could mount it, stretch it out to here, out of my way. And then instead of having it like that, I can put it sideways like this. And it's exactly level with my hood. You see that from where I'm sitting here? It actually only just covers the front part of my hood. It doesn't uh, take away from any of the road in front of me. So that's what we're dealing with now. I can't charge it normally. I might have to take it to get fixed. Of course, right when I paid off too, right? I paid off the phone and it's, it's mine now because I, I leased it at the beginning, right? These phones are so expensive nowadays, it's crazy. But I leased it and uh, I paid it off. So now it's mine and of course then the charging port goes, of course. But luckily these Samsungs have a, a workaround. You can charge it wirelessly. So that's what I'm doing. I bought some wireless chargers off Amazon that'll be waiting at home for me when I get there. Or... And I got this wireless charger for the truck. That'll keep it charged. That was my uh, my only option right now. All right, it's been good sitting here. It's been fun in London. Let's clean this off real quick. Oh, I almost forgot that. All those fingerprints. I don't want to stare at that all morning. Not perfect, but it's better. We'll use a little bull snot on it later to clean that off. I gotta go pick up my bridge. Okay. Lights are on, truck is all ready to go, snow is off, trailer bed. Dash cam's running. Everything is mounted. Make sure my trailer is attached like it looked like it was. Trailer brakes work, trailer is attached. And trailer brakes release. Fantastic. Let's go to work. All right, old blue. We're gonna go pick up a big one. Supposed to be about 46,000 pounds, I think so. It'll be pretty heavy. We're gonna take Highway 11 back. I've got my permit for all the all the King's highways, which means all public highways. Well, not all public highways. There's the King's highways, and that's what my permit's good for. So we're good for the 11 all the way back. Uh, it'll be easier than carrying an oversized through uh, the 17. He's got reels too. Same kind of load that I took down here. Oh, oh, what are you, are you gonna turn in front of me or I'm gonna go, are you gonna wait? Okay. Thanks bud. I think I had the right of way there, right? What do you guys think? Who was in the right there? Was that my right of way or was I supposed to wait for him to cut in front of me to go to the pumps? Let me know in the comments. In 100 meters, turn right on Highbury Avenue South and then take the entrance to the right in 190 meters. You always got to wave at all the other K Whoppers. All the other, all the other W9s. You're good, man. You're not my way. Don't worry. I'm good. Let's see. Well, Flying J, it was fun. You were very kind to me. And this, I washed the truck here yesterday. Did you know Blue Beacon Canada has renamed itself? It's the same ownership. They renamed itself to Northern Touch Truck Wash. Same thing, exactly the same thing as a Blue Beacon. Just got a different name now. Same Canadian owners. I didn't know that until yesterday. I learned a thing. Come to London, you'll learn things. 
All right, here's the 401. Let's go. was very nice here which was a uh, kind of nice for a day off at home they're having a cold snap right now and we're going to be driving right into that on the way back minus 30 overnight and here it was just uh, zero degrees Celsius the whole time like 32 Fahrenheit it was actually nice and warm just happened. Shoot. Looks like everybody's okay. That's good. Drove around all the sharp stuff on the highway there that they may, once they uh, call the proper authorities, maybe they can clean that up. As a truck driver, that's the first thing I always think of. We are strapped down, we are flagged, we are tagged. We got our paperwork, we're looking good. We're gonna drag this thing back to Brandon, Manitoba. It's gonna be about a three day drive. I can only drive during daylight hours, have to stop no later than a half hour after sunset. And I can only start driving no earlier than a half hour before sunrise. So let's find out when that's going to be. When is sunset today? Today, the sun will set at 5.25 p.m. Ooh, <laughs> that's early still. Yikes, where's summertime? It sets at like 8.30 then. Okay, uh, so we have to be off the road by 5.55. Let's round it to six o'clock, five minutes. Gotta be parked before six o'clock. When is sunrise tomorrow? Tomorrow, sunrise is at 7.39 a.m. 7.39, so we can get rolling 6.51 or seven o'clock tomorrow. So we gotta stop by six o'clock today. We can get rolling at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, 13 hours that we gotta stop for. Well, the sun's already moving, so we better get moving too. All right, guys. Whew. Let me introduce you to my little friend. There it is. So I was still able to keep all straps inside the rub rail. Even though the freight goes outside the rub rail. We're permitted for an oversized load. Even that sign on the back got to stay on there pretty good, eh? Not exactly centered. That's oh, okay, it's doing his job. Eleven foot eight wide. Let's go home. And we're trucking! lane much as I can here hugging the right side of the lane just to give a little bit of extra room passing traffic I can fit this load within the lines just barely but I'd rather give them a little extra room just in case if someone starts wandering around in the lane beside me you know what I mean they 
know, I don't really feel like filling out all the paperwork and proving that they hit me and I didn't hit them. So we'll just play it safe, hug the right side of the shoulder here, or hug the right side of the lane. So I have 14 straps on this load. I'll show you a little later. I had very strict instructions from the shipper. Absolutely no chains on their steel. It's galvanized steel and the chains will damage it. All right. You got it, Captain. You got it, boss. 14 straps should do the trick. I have three pieces on my trailer like you saw before. I put eight straps over the top three over the center and three over the bottom, so I tied down each level individually. I went a little overboard, I went a little crazy, but that's, you know me, that's normal for me. It ain't going nowhere, except with me. I'm thinking I'm gonna make it to North Bay. I was trying to make it to uh, New Liskert. I think that's what the town is called there, or Temeskiming Shores. Temeskiming Shores. I think I'm gonna run out of daylight. I'll see what happens when we get to North Bay, but I'm pretty sure, like a 90, 98 and uh, 5 eighths, what would that be? 98.45 percent sure don't you dare do it don't do it ah you did it you did it. okay that wasn't so bad I'll forgive you I'll forgive you you should have been in this lane in the first place if you wanted to exit what are you doing anyway oh lane diver lane di oh no I thought he was diving over there too oh Toronto you never disappoint me I'm north of Toronto now on highway 400 going towards Barry like I was saying, I think we're going to run out of daylight hours in North Bay. In the Petro Pass south of town there, I think I'm going to, I think so anyway. Tim Horton's right there. I think that's where I'm going to call it a night. We'll see what happens when I get there. I have to be off the road by 6 p.m. Are just south of North Bay, Ontario, uh, right where I wanted to stop. Looks like they built a big casino right next door. There used to be just an open field over there. Huh. A big operation over there now. They got a Burger King in here. They got a Subway. They got a Tim Hortons. They got a Cat Scale. They got Petro Pass Fuel. This is this is the place to be. Look at all that going on over there. Very nice. I remember when this place just opened up and everybody kept blowing past it because you, they didn't know this was a truck stop here yet. They didn't know there was parking here, right? I was one of the first ones. And I know I usually blab on YouTube right away. Hey, look, look, there's new parking, new parking. And then pfft, everything fills up right away. But this probably has nothing to do with me. People just figure it out. <laughs> but I don't help by letting the whole world know because I used to come here because there was always parking here, right? Now this place will fill up tonight. It will. I stopped real early though. I had to get off the road by six. I got here at like 10 to, 10 to six, I think, quarter to six. The sky was still light, but the sun had just gone down and I had to stop. So it worked out perfectly. I had to be off the road before six. Worked out perfect. So tomorrow I'm hoping to make it to either Long Lac, Ontario or Shania. Is that what it's called? Shania, or just by the Flying J by Thunder Bay. That's my goal for tomorrow, one of those two. The goal is Long Lac. 
Uh, I can't fail because once we pass Hearst, Ontario, it's like four hours or something, four hours of just nothing. So I, I have to make it the Long Lac. If I can get there before the sun goes down, great. If I can get a little further, awesome. But I'm not gonna make it any further in Thunder Bay. Hey, man, if we if we really wanna exceed ourselves and like score really big and go huge, maybe we'll make it to the Petro Pass, the car block on the other side of Thunder Bay or at the corner of the 17 and the the 102. The, it's a little, uh, if, you, if you know the area, if you don't, it's just, I get it. That, that breeze you felt just go over your head, that was what I just said, went right over your head. And don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And then I'll be home the following day. I believe they're going to try to get someone, one of our city guys, to deliver this load for me. We have a prenatal appointment coming up next week. And it's on the same day that they want this delivered in Brandon. And if they can't find anyone else, of course, I'll, I'll deliver the load myself. But uh, hopefully they got a city driver available. And uh, they, they can take that take that load to Brandon for me. It doesn't always work out that there is one. Uh, we're always looking for drivers, city drivers, long haul drivers, flatbed drivers, van drivers, everything. Uh, so we'll see. Other than that, thanks for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. We got this big old wide load behind us now. And we got two days of two lane roads with this thing. Can only drive during daylight hours, but shouldn't be a problem. We'll get going early tomorrow and we're gonna have fun. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll see you tomorrow.